Aquarius, hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 18th to the 24th of July 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Okay, so Aquarius. Overall, Ten of Swords. Wow. You've been through a shit of a time, I'm going to say here, but there's always that but, and this is a good but, <laughs> because that painful cycle has finished. It's done. Past energies, King of Cups, King of Swords, Three of Pentacles. feel like you were in control of things in the past here. Um, you're quite confident to step up and show the way, lead the way with some sort of partnership, collaboration. May have been around love, around work, around home. You're very level-headed, using your head over your heart, being in control of your emotions. It was all happening pretty well. Present energies, Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Nine of Swords. I feel like there was actually a bit of a wake-up moment here though, where things weren't as well as they seemed on the outside in the past. Okay, um, that Three of Wands is in the core of your reading. And I feel that wake-up moment is, has brought this um, amount of stress and overthinking of things, sleepless nights, what the hell's going on here but going from that nine of swords to this ten of swords overall for the week where you are able to close that cycle off there is still something that you're bound to here maybe a contract of some sort that you're not able to break free from but i feel like now you do have this wake up moment um yeah of where you thought things were really great in the past it may not have turned out like that but you do come to your future energies look at all these kings in this underlying reading king of wands nine of wands six of wands could be dealing with another air sign um, libra gemini aquarius here but you're very focused on where you are heading and you know that that past is actually in the past it may be a bit battle scarred a bit battle weary um, from what you've gone through and it's in this present energies line here but again closing that painful cycle off all of that is in the past and claim this victory right here in order to start your next journey from there wow aquarius but we clarify everything here starting with the ten of swords You get the King of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Star. I was going to say, you've had every King. We haven't had King of Pentacles. Okay, but um, yeah, using your head over your heart when it comes to following your dreams, your wishes, and your hopes. You know what you want. You know who you want. You want the stability. You want the commitment. But it means doing this clearly with your head over your heart, very logical, very level-headed and um, keeping it real i'm going to say so you don't get caught up in another painful cycle again so aquarius past energies king of cups you have the three of pentacles you have that over there as well the moon two of pentacles yeah things started to get a bit um topsy-turvy a bit of a roller coaster ride a bit of a bumpy ride here in the past Okay, um, it took a bit to get control of the situation, maybe a bit more clarity that was needed around some things, could be dealing with a Pisces in order to build something solid here, but um, it may not have been as solid as it appeared in the past. Very tough. Aquarius, King of Swords here. Princess of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Well, there was love on offer, and I feel it was a very balanced um, relationship here. Equal give and take, rather than one party doing all the giving and the other party doing all the taking. But um, a lot of emotional happiness 
like I said, everything just seemed so brilliant in the past. But there is that but. Um, I'm going to say, but it was a, a almost like a cover, a mask, wanting everybody to think things were okay. Three of Pentacles, Aquarius. You get the Eight of Swords, the Sun, the Magician. I feel like you do start to see um, a way out of this. It's really it's tough. As I said, it was kind of a cover. You wanted others to think that things were pretty good, but really they weren't. And I feel like you did finally start to see a way out of this in the past towards your own happiness. You're manifesting a way to release yourself from this. Um, false impression. That's what I can put it down to there. So Aquarius, Four of Pentacles, present energies, Five of Wands, Queen of Swords, King of Cups. Yeah, a lot of conflict, a lot of disagreements, a lot of arguments. And again, I feel like, you know, it's like um, you don't know what happens behind closed doors here. And I feel like it's, it's had to be that you've had to take a whole completely different approach towards something, towards someone, to release yourself from some sort of contract here, whether it's a relationship breakup, whether it's a job that you've walked away from, um, but caused a lot of disagreements, a lot of arguments. I'm going to say, but you had to do it for your own sanity. You've had to do it to keep control of your emotions here while you've been trying to release yourself from this binding. Three of Wands, the core of your reading. So I feel like you do, as I said, have this wake up moment, but it's also kind of um, realizing how how bad or how negative things were back there. Death, Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords. But you're still bound to something. Some sort of contract here. Again, whether it's a marriage, whether it's a legal contract at work, even around home. Could be dealing with a Scorpio here. But it's talking about taking this blindfold off to see the bigger picture. To see these other options. To see some paths that may not be so obviously available to you. And releasing this past and focusing on this brand new chapter but that um, that path again needs that clarity with that three of wands that we are clarifying tough reading Aquarius nine of swords no wonder you're in this kind of energy here let's try and clear this up six of cups ten of wands three of wands yeah absolutely it's the past and, if, and again having this wake up moment but I'm going to say but again um, that past releasing that burden releasing that painful cycle we have that ten of swords over here as well walking away from that and focusing on this new chapter ahead and as we said we've got that three of wands again and the core of your reading as well as just clarifying here Having that clarity of where you are heading towards. So Aquarius, future energies, King of Wands, all these wands down here. Temperance, the Empress, the Hermit, super energy, three major arcanas needed right now. Okay, could be dealing with Sagittarius or Virgo here, but going with the flow, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, and, and I'm going to say, with what you've had so far, that light needs to be, even if it's only a little glimmer, it needs to be right there. But following your heart, following your gut instinct, you're very aware, very intuitive here, 
that things needed to start moving forward and in your in your own direction here. Nine of Wands, that past is in the past. Three of Swords, the full Seven of Wands. That persistence, not giving up, not quitting. Absolutely, it is not quitting on yourself here. You are ready to take a chance and a leap of faith here to move forward away from this um, third party situation, this outside interference, this heartbreak that you have been through. And you feel like it pays off, it works. This persistence works because you finish with the Six of Wands, victory. And to come through something like this, if this resonates and you're still standing, you claim this victory as your own. The Hierophant, the Chariot, Knight of Wands. Could be dealing with Cancer or Taurus here, but again, somebody's trying to put some pressure on you here to do things their way, but I feel like you're starting to balance this Chariot out and get things moving forward and um, moving forward in your direction. It may still be a bit of a bumpy ride. Nothing is ever smooth sailing with the Knight of Wands, but um, you do have this focus of where you're heading towards, where this chariot is heading towards, and ultimately that is your victory. That is a tough read, Aquarius. Let's just see what the universe has to say. This did not want to go back in the pack. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Whole different approach towards something or someone or the situation that this is actually um, has actually involved right here. Maybe waiting for an apology. You may be waiting for a very long time. It may never ever arrive. I do always say that. So it is just focusing on this whole brand new chapter that lies ahead and getting control of the situation, getting this balance and alignment back to place, may, back into place. Maybe inner balance and alignment. But also, again, it's not smooth sailing, taking the ups with the downs with that Two of Pentacles and that Knight of Wands right there. But I feel like you do take this whole different approach here and um, clear the air, which has, seems to be well and truly needed. Wow, so Aquarius, let's just finish with Open to Spirit Oracle. As I said, that was one tough reading. Today, just choose love. Tomorrow, repeat. And it doesn't mean um, physical love, somebody else. It can be loving thyself, as they say. But we'll go here. You are an awakened being. I love that because you have the three of wands twice in your presence energies line. You know that love is the fabric of the universe. Today, in all situations, choose to be love. Resonate love, speak love, offer love, be love in action with all persons and especially with yourself. Notice the joy being love brings. Tomorrow, continue. Wow, needed right there, Aquarius. So that's what I have. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.